Here we go. Now time for some fun. Usually it takes something very sharp to pop a balloon, but today we're doing it with fruit. Why not? Dan Clements <laughs> from the Imagination Station here is to show us how. Good morning, Dan. Great to see you. Good morning. Uh, yes. So this oh, is norm. You know, normally when we're, we got things in balloons, there's like explosive gases and things like. I say that. last time we were we were messing with our voices when we had balloons in here. Yeah. So. Okay. This is something super easy you can do at home, and you just need some citrus fruit and balloons. Okay, so. I, already, I already had my banana, but now we're dealing with uh, oranges and lemons and that sort of fruit. Okay. Yes, so we've got some citrus, and I've got some balloons filled up here. Um, so I thought we'd do some experimenting and see what happens when we, like, put some juices on the balloons, maybe see what happens. I don't know. So we're Okay, let's try. see what happens. So okay. I've got uh, some orange wedges here. Now, these are, I got the darker style oranges. I was going to say. Uh, so that you can see the juice better. Okay, so, so what are we so going to do? So go ahead now? and just squeeze the juice out onto the balloon. It's just, like, just, drip right it on, on just drip it on there. Okay, see if so anything happens. It seems to uh, make a mess. Seem, we're making a mess, but nothing really is happening. Um, I like making so a mess. So, we okay. know, you know, Orange juice kind of has like acid in it, so right. that acid doesn't seem to be having any effect here, okay? But um, on the outside of oranges, on um, like the rind, right? Okay, that you know, like lemon zest or orange zest that you right. might use in cooking. Okay, there goes that one. What you might have had some in there. What just happened? But okay, so they are water balloons, <laughs> so we'll block it. All but right. <laughs> the zest, there's something inside called limonene. D-limonene. Okay. You know, you got the oils in there, but there's tiny little pockets of limonene. That's where it gets its smell from. Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do is take this and squeeze it like that. So we're squeezing towards, it the opposite direction. Toward the opposite mean. way, just towards the balloon there. Squeeze it. Give it a good squeeze. There you go. Good. How'd that work? Okay. Really? So there are tiny little pockets of that oil inside the orange here right. on the outside, and there's limonene in each one of those little pockets. So when you squeeze it, it kind of pops those little pockets yeah. and kind of goes back. So I can actually do it like that. We might be able to do it again. If we, if we're, and, and actually I can see it. You probably can't pick it up on the camera, but you can actually see a little bit of spray Ooh. almost. Yeah, they're going go in everywhere. But you can see it, and I. <laughs> and it will dissolve. It's actually a solvent, so it dissolves the outside. All right, let me see if I can try. Give it another try, yeah. I'll try and Maybe get this I need one over here. One. Maybe, yeah, grab another one. We got, we got all kinds here. So you can squeeze it, and it puts those little pockets out. Now, I yeah, that's what might happen. Now, I've got some limonene. This is pure we got limonene broken oranges right here. Today. We got broken oranges everywhere. <laughs> this is the pure stuff, and I can put that on the balloons. Boom. Like that and they will pop. Now it's a solvent, so it might take a second, but I've got bigger balloons. I thought we might try it with these. I've got, <laughs> well, you yeah, got it got, too close. I've got the limonene all over my fingers now, so that, that, that could happen. So why don't you give it a spritz here. So now you're, a, you're a dangerous I'm gonna, I'm gonna man try, around these balloons. I'm gonna now. try the orange again. Mm, try yeah. that one. Okay, try, try it again. One. Ooh, yeah, we got lots of limonene out on that one. So I it just takes some time out. for it to work. It's, it's a solvent, it actually dissolves the latex yeah. and the balloons. Now, it happens slowly with these ones because they could be like vulcanized. Uh, that, so I don't even know what that means, it, but it sounds awesome. It's a strengthening process of the rubber, <laughs> okay? So basically and what you're doing is strong. the solvent likely, it doesn't actually necessarily tear a hole like a knife through the balloon, yep, but it what kinda, it does is it, it like it breaks do? down that and it weakens latex. It. it weakens it and makes it pop. So that the now, pressure inside of, of it pops it. Uh, I've got something pretty fun. So okay. I thought, you know, we're popping balloons. Let's pop a whole bunch of balloons. <laughs> so, At Imagination out. Station, you don't just do it once, you do it much bigger. I and got all kinds of balloons here, and I got limonene on my hands. Okay. So let's try it with the orange peels first before we go with the <laughs> okay, strong before stuff. Before the big stuff. So let's each grab two. I feel like two. we're doing like an atomic reaction Let's here. each grab two, and all then right. we'll, we'll give, do it a countdown and do okay. it at the same time. Ready? For three, two, two one. One. <laughs> okay, we can grab some more, get some fresh ones. We got to get all of them out of there. Yeah, you can't just leave any of these. So we're sp spraying them with limonene. This is dissolving the outside. Who would have thought oranges and popping could be so these dangerous. balloons? And we're using like water balloons. Right. Um, Do they have a thinner latex? They're a thinner latex, and they're like meant to be popped, right? They a good water balloon want you want it to pop. Take this balloons. I've got oranges. <laughs> That's what it feels like. So this is super fun. You can do it at home. Blow up a whole bunch of water balloons with the kids, <laughs> and you can go crazy popping them everywhere. All right. What else you got going on at Imagination Station? Well, if you come on down this weekend, we're doing all kinds I'm of different. Cheat workshops. So if you come down, we got think tank workshops, we got some Lego workshops going on, and it's not too late to sign up for our little scientist workshops oh. for uh, your preschool age scientists. So if you want to come on down, check out all the fun stuff we're Fine. doing. Fine, we'll have to pop these the All right, <laughs> thank you, Dan. Lots of fun. I just want to see if I can pop one in my hand. All right, there's a lot more your day coming up in just a moment. We'll see if I come back or if I'm still popping balloons.